I think there's gonna be one in this right here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, there it there is. is. Look there at that. There it is. Picker and a <laughs> half right there. Oh, man. Jeez. I see a third one right there. Ooh. <laughs> man, that thing is massive. No way. Look at those. Ooh. Oh, my. So if you notice, I'm out at the Mississippi River right now. And it's for a good reason. The Mississippi River actually had one of the biggest storms blower that they've had in a long time. Massive tornadoes, like hurricane force winds, hail, rain, everything. So we were actually planning to be there, but we didn't want to get in the way, didn't want to get in that mix and you know possibly get in trouble out there, you know, with the tornadoes and stuff. So we're gonna head out there like in a day or two after this video is live, the entire trip from start to finish will be vlogged out and everything that's going on over there because there's a lot of interesting stuff. But because that got delayed, we've got something extremely interesting for you today. I bought a bucket for Senior. One of our hobbies is gold mining, and Senior was putting on his TikTok, you know, a year or two ago, all gold mining stuff, and people absolutely loved it. And we got all the equipment for it. So uh, we got a bucket right here, absolutely jam-packed full of dirt. And uh, there's supposedly a lot of gold in it. So we're gonna do some gold mining today and it should be fun. We're gonna see how much we can find. So this is the bucket right there. It's $1,900 for that bucket. That's for me? Yeah. <laughs> $1,900? Yeah. No way, I already see a piece of gold. Look at that. We're gonna have some fun with it. It's not no, <laughs> It's sitting on top. Oh man. All right, so quick story. You guys know that I was really into gold mining. It was something I wanted to do as a kid. Started the TikTok, started going after it. Spent about $5,000 on equipment and traveling and gas money, going to mines, you know, going into caves and everything. And overall, I found about 10 bucks worth of gold. So I was like, what the heck? You know, it's, it's really hard to find gold nowadays. So now we have all this equipment and everything. We actually found out that there's companies that will sell you buckets from the bottom of a mine. So this right here, the one that Adrian ordered was a $1,900 bucket. Let's see how much gold is in it. Check these out right here. So all these are different companies that sell these. I mean, I'm not going to show you the names of them all because I don't want you to complain if they don't have a whole lot of gold. But these are pretty much for entertainment. I mean, how much gold do you expect one of these little things to have in it? You know what I mean? But here's mine the golden dirt bag which is kind of a funny name but it's gold and it has dirt in it and it's a golden dirt bag so we'll get that back to that later if you know nothing about gold mining you have to screen out the big rocks you ready to do this yeah let's do we'll it. start off with the biggest one and we'll catch the big rocks and see if there's any actual nuggets depending on the size we will either run this machine which i call little wheelie or <laughs> <laughs> or I'll run Slusafina. Slusafina, and then yeah. why, why, why is it named? Because this is a sluice right here. All right, so Little Willy Slusafina. This is going to have bigger rocks in it. Once we clean out this mat, it'll go over there. And yeah, let's, let's so, do it. So let's this go. is going to be like a miniature gold rush episode. This is a way. miniature gold rush episode. <laughs> We're going to get into it. Yeah, we don't see a, a monster nugget right now. We don't expect any nuggets to be this size. We'd be or rich. Else, yeah. Trash them? Yep, done. You don't think there was any powder gold in there? Yeah, no, we'll, we'll find it. We'll find it later. All right, so next step, we got rid of the big rocks, right? Yeah, here's the next size. We're gonna take it down. I don't expect there to be any big nuggets. I think there's gonna be one in this right here. No, no way. way. Hold, hold there that it again. is. Look there at that. It is. That thing looks like a big boot. That's a picker and a <laughs> half right there. Oh, man. man. I see a third one right there. Ooh. <laughs> man, that thing is massive. No way. Look at those. Ooh. Oh, my. Wow. No way. I do a lot of stuff with gold, and that's a couple hundred dollars right there, and it's by itself worth the nuggets. Those are nice. 
Oh, got some clinkers. All right. That's <laughs> if we saw some bigger nuggets that escaped, we decided to go with one more small size. Let's do it. Look at that. Another one right there. Look at that nugget. There one right there. Yeah, you're right there. Oh, Look man. These pickers right here. You gotta hear them clink. Let's see where we're at right now. Okay. 11 grams. That's pretty cool. We might have to do a couple clean outs because uh, it's a lot of dirt. It's going to clog up the things. Last couple scoops of the bucket right here. All right. Let's see what we got here. So we ran all the dirt through the sluice. Now we're going to take this off. Because there's like moss down there. We're going to pull it. And we're going to see how much gold we got. There's a lot of gold in that already. We washed all the parts into here. There's a second piece. Got to wash this thing off. Should have some yes. gold. All right, this is that moss I was talking about. Look at all that gold in there. Huh. Yeah, we're going to have to run that. That's why there's this. We rerun it. Yeah, we're going to have to run it again. I think we Jeez. missed a lot of gold. Our moss pad got too full. Look at this. Wow. That looks pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of gold. All right, so we're going to wash this moss thing in here. All right, it's time to concentrate. Because we've got it. to concentrate. All the gold's in there. Yeah, they call that concentrate. That's all the leftover stuff that came out of that that moss. This one we call Little Willie. And if Little Willie does his job correctly, we already calibrated it. This spins, shoots down water, and gold has more density. And it goes up and into the hole and comes out of the back and it should load up this little cup right here with gold. Here we go. It works. Okay. It's almost it's almost like hypnotizing. Ooh, I'm gonna find gold. Scoop. So the concentrate came out of over there and we are going to pour it right here. See, let's watch the gold go up. Oh man, a lot of gold. Look at all that gold. Yep, it works. <laughs> the gold is a lot more dense than anything else that's going up that wheel. So it should collect it. See man, how that was the dirt, a lot. Yeah, all the dirt keeps rolling down. The really light stuff rolls off the edge. Ooh, look at it's all that. It's actually like hypnotizing when you just look at it. All right, here's the last of it. There's still a little bit of gold coming in. And there we have it. It is stopped. Let's see what we got here. Pulling it off of the back. Look at that. Wow. All right, Adrian, how much you think? Half ounce. Whoa. Yeah. Dang. Check that out. It's cool. That's definitely a lot of gold. We're going to clean it up really quick, separate all the rocks and the remainder of the black sand and stuff, and then uh, cook the gold and get it all weighed out and stuff. But that's a lot of gold. A whole lot of gold. It's wow. been a lot of fun. Look at that. Oh, we, we got some floaters. We didn't have enough soap in there. That's bad when it's floating like that. Got floating gold. That's not good. Now it's time to do a little bit of a gold catch and cook almost. <laughs> <laughs> so what you do, the easiest way to get your gold dry is you literally just cook it. And that's all you do. You put it under some heat. We got this little, it, um, I don't know what they call those, but I use them for when I reload. It just holds your gold perfectly. It's got a little snout you can pour it with. One thing is that not all gold is like that, you know, gold color. Some of it is black, and I know that because when we're in the gold mining and all that, they'll say, you know, if you get some of that black stuff down there, and it, you just can't separate it from your gold, you know, it won't separate as you're panning. It's because it's most likely gold, so you can hear it boiling. We got it sizzling. All right, 
We got the gold dry right now. Let it cool off a little bit. Look at that. Now it's time to start weighing it. So we got our nuggets here. Um, some of this might be magnetic. There's a little magnet at the bottom of this and black sand is magnetic. So when you run it over here, the, the black sand's gonna stick to the magnet down there. And it's just a way to help separate it a little bit better. See, there's a little bit, not much. We cleaned it out fairly decently. Oh, well, there we go, perfect. I think you got it all anyways. Okay, so here's our little scale. We're gonna drop our nuggets. Boom, look at all that gold. Is it worth the 19 hundo? What do you think? My guess is, yeah, that's definitely over an ounce of gold. So here's the scale. You got the scale right there? Yeah. Go ahead. All See right. if we hit the, the ounce. What is that? 0.3 ounces. Yeah, I feel like we're doing a clean out on Gold Rush. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's see. It's gonna be close. Oh man, come on, baby. We've broken out. There we go. One point zero nine nine. So, so pretty up. much one point one ounces of gold right here. Look at those nuggets. I just about guarantee we missed a little bit too and uh, like in our sluice box and stuff when it started to get packed but you know just hardly any I'm sure we're gonna spend some time in the future panning through all of it to make sure we get it all but that is at least you know 99.5 percent of the gold that was in that bucket and uh, what do you think was it worth it yeah so so an ounce right now is going for about what is it right 17. now 17 over 17 we paid 1900 and something right is what mm -hmm. you paid with shipping and everything so uh 150 to 200 dollars worth of entertainment you know you can go buy a bottle of wine that costs that much drink it in 10 minutes and then be sober in 30 minutes <laughs> we actually spent if you drink if you drink a bottle of wine in 10 minutes <laughs> you're not gonna be sober in 30 <laughs> you're gonna be sleeping soon. about three hours worth of work to do all this with dirt cleaning it out now we got like sand on the floor because of all the dust and everything so it's a lot of work this you know it's always good to have gold in, in your stash you know gold yeah. if the value of gold goes up say it doubles triples in the future this could be worth you know three thousand dollars three four five thousand so you know there's a lot of people that like to invest in gold and we've been investing in gold recently and you know you buy an ounce here or there whenever you've got the spare cash to do so and uh right there you're looking at an ounce of gold and we spent like senior was saying about 150 ish dollars worth of fun which in my opinion was well worth it you can go out to the movies and spend a hundred dollars for 30 you know or probably two hours of fun at the movie theaters popcorn everything 100 bucks 150 dollars worth of fun few people <clears throat> got to go through and look for gold and pan for it and split it up and then on top of that, you get the gold at the end of the day, including these big nuggets. Now, nuggets actually sell for a premium. So if somebody's actually trying to turn a profit, you can sell a nugget for a little bit more than just the value of the gold. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's worth it. I think that it's worth the fun, you know, a couple hours. So I buy a bunch of these. I give them out to my nephews and stuff. Some of these are like, I don't know, somewhere as low as $19, somewhere as high as $50. I'm not going to say each one guarantees gold, but some of them guarantee a certain amount of gold. This this is for entertainment. Most companies only sell these bags, and when I first got into it, you got to buy a pan for $6, you got to buy this, you got to buy the sniffer and everything. I'm going to shout out my own bag. I made my own golden dirt bags, because when I do stuff like this and get extra gold, I just put that gold back into my golden dirt bags. And I know a guy that owns a mine, so I use the dirt from the mine. And it's actually a kit. It comes with a pan, it comes with a sniffer, and inside it comes with a little baggie and a, a vial that you can put your gold in. So I just made a little kit, made it easy for you guys. I'm going to be sending out 10 of those to people that ordered hats, right? They have like a $34.99 value or whatever. So 10 of you guys that ordered hats, 10 of these are going to random addresses so i'm sending the kits out so it's much love we appreciate it we've been talking about it we just wanted to give something out 
and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I think they're fun. We, you've given them to some of the cousins and stuff, and they absolutely yeah. have a blast. So, so for the holidays coming up, I'm like the worst person to buy a gift for because there's I really don't need anything, and I don't like a whole lot of things. I don't like clothes. I don't like anything. I've been wearing the same clothes <laughs> since high school for fit. So, I don't like anything. But this thing actually entertaining and a lot of people like gold and it, it just gives you there's something about gold It's crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, Had an absolute blast filming it. You know anytime you can get your hands on some precious gold It feels absolutely amazing. You guys have been showing a crazy amount of support we show our appreciation We're kind of scheming right now and and trying to plan out something massive to do for the people in a way to give back to show our appreciation for the absolutely massive amount of support you've been showing. So we've got shirts coming soon. We've got another massive hat order in. We really do hope you guys enjoy it. If you do buy one, um, I would love to see people post it on Instagram, TikTok, whatever. The Mississippi River videos are going to be coming out very soon. Make sure to check out our Instagrams. The Sin City Outdoors Instagram and Adrian Sr. has an Instagram also, Adrian Mountman Sr. And we're going to kind of update as we go along the journey on our stories and stuff. But definitely a series you guys want to stay tuned for because it's going to get real interesting really fast. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you outdoors.